Welcome back guys to uh, Lacacita's virtual kitchen. Um, you remember in our last video we was making these salted caramel parfait. So today it's been in the freezer all evening and we're gonna show you how to serve it. So I've taken it out here in this uh, bread tin. We've got these flaps here, you remember yesterday we were folding it all over. So this is gonna help us pull the parfait out. Okay, so we'll just take that out of the tin. It's always best to get it straight into some um, Grease proof paper just so you don't basically the cling film doesn't stick to it. So we're just gonna peel the sides off here. So you can see it's got a lovely colour. It's nice and uh, it's nice and set. You're gonna flip that over, and it should all come off in one. There we go. So what we're gonna do with this once we've taken our slice off, the grease proof's gonna help basically um, protect it in the freezer. So just in front here, we've got a little bit of chocolate crumble. If you don't have this, you can basically get some old chocolate biscuits and bash them up at home. A little bit onto the plate there. Be as generous as you like. Gives a lovely bit of texture to the parfait, so be nice and generous. And then what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna take the very edge off this, just to straighten it up. And depending on how much you want and how much you like, just nice sort of slice straight down. Take that off there. So it should have a lovely, almost sort of moussey texture to it. It's lovely and soft. The caramel one will be a little bit softer than our other parfaits. This is basically to the sugar content. Um, and then we're just gonna garnish this up. Classic garnish from the 80s, a little bit of fresh mint, but it just gives it a lovely bit of color in the corner there. And that's it, that's your salted caramel parfait with a little bit of chocolate crumble and fresh mint. Um, brought to you from Lacazita's Virtual Kitchen. Um, let us know if you have a go at this at home. We'd love to see any pictures or little videos of you making it at home. Um, and it, and it'd be fantastic. So thank you again for taking your time and we will see you again on uh, Lacazita's Virtual Kitchen. Thank you, bye bye.